Welcome back to Rocket City. We got a fun doubleheader on tap today. Florida, and then we travel on the road to play Georgia. And if we win both of those games, there's a good chance we could be top five, and we'd be playing number one Alabama at home. So that should be the craziest rivalry game of all time. If you remember from last episode, Brandon Ford is number three in the Heisman race. We gotta keep feeding him the ball so he can get the yards and the touchdowns. But also our guy, Tim Missile, he is leading the country in sacks right now and tackles. 26 solo tackles through three games, 12 TFLs, nine QBs, sacks. If he keeps that pace up for the entire season, he is going to shatter the NCAA record for sacks in a season. I want to see it happen. I'm also going to add Tim Missile to some offensive sets as well. I think it'd be fun to have two guys fighting for that Heisman spot. And imagine if we got a defensive player to win Heisman. That'd just be crazy. We're also bringing in Tyreek Parrish by popular demand. He's going to be the quarterback in option situations. It's going to be lethal with Brandon Ford, Tyreek Parrish, and Jordan Vaughn. Oh, I didn't even realize that. We have the number one tackle, number eight guard, and the number 10 center her visiting this week. So we not only have to beat Florida, but we also have to get a ton of yards on the ground and through the air. Ooh, super rainy today. And we're not even playing in the swamp, but it's going to look like a swamp here today with this amount of rain. Let's take care of business. Fans have been asking for Tyree Parrish back at quarterback, at least for these option plays. So what happens when you change a quarterback to wide receiver? He's not able to audible because it like takes down his awareness all the way for whatever reason. It's stupid in my opinion, but here we go. This is what we got. Tyree Parrish first carry break and a tackle and that's going to be a first down man maybe i should have kept him at quarterback what was i thinking oh and he's catching a pass as well you know what let's make him throw the ball here just a check down and that's not going to go for any yards but he ran the ball he caught the ball and he threw the ball you know the drill we're sending to missile i want him to be in the backfield all day and we're bodying the quarterback here on their first carry gotta make that tackle Tim Missile, I guess he's the only one on the team who can. Third down. He's going around, and he's going to be knocked down in the backfield. Or maybe we should give our Heisman candidate a carry. What are we thinking? <laughs> he hasn't touched the ball yet. There's the blocks. Okay, here we go. See what happens when you give your best player the ball. I see him. Tim Missile on offense. He can do that too, and he's a large man. That was also the fans asking for that. I think I dig it. I think Wayne got hurt or something because he's not in the game right now. So it looks like we got the freshman coming in. Got to make a big play here on this third down. Throw the missile. You got Ryan Brown in the corner. We confuse the safety by sending people over the middle. And Greg Williams. One throw, one touchdown. Oh, and he's so nonchalant about it. Break off. Oh, there you go. I actually made a good user play. Wayne Fontenot sprained his ankle. He is out for the game. So, yep, we're rolling with the freshman. They've been doing so many option plays. I haven't been able to blitz, but Tim Missile's still getting tackles. Stack in the box then if they're just going to do this. And the quarterback's got it. Get over there, Traverius. Nice wrap up in open space. Oh, counter action. I mean, they're running the ball every play, and they're doing it efficiently. Maybe second and nine, they'll actually throw it. Guys in motion again. Here he goes, Tim Missile in his face. And he'll just have to check it down. Well, now we're gonna be forcing their hand, third and long. Tim Missile, he's coming for him. Hits the quarterback. His QB hit percentage is extremely high. Tim, hits the quarterback again, forcing a bad throw. I'm liking this, nice block from the fullback. Oh, not enough to get around him. He just scraped the back of his ankle. Ooh, nice moves. Rushing offense has been very efficient. All the blocks are there. And that'll be another first down. Dime. And that's the freshman tight end, Cody Stewart. Ooh, patience from Brandon Ford. That's going to be an easy touchdown. And look at those blocks way downfield. Held up strong. Oh, absolutely whiffed. Thankfully, we got back up. Man, I whiffed like that like a dozen times each game. Oh, just violently throwing him to the turf. Coming for him. Got in his face, but he makes a clean throw. And he's going to be up to the one. Quarterback's going to keep it. Oh, that's a nice tackle. Alfred Clifford. Up the middle, and he's going to get this one. So they're closing the gap a bit. Tim Missile back out here. Oh, we're taking him. That's going to be a huge play for a first down. Did you hear the crowd erupt on that one? That was awesome. Let's try some Wildcat right here. We got to keep an eye on the clock, though. Only 30 seconds left in this half. Cutting around. Brandon Ford, nice work. Oh, got through. He got hit. 
Ball on the football. That will happen if you have no blockers in there. So what we're going to do on this next play is leave in no blockers and try it again. Uh, I really don't think this is going to work, but F it. Just full send that one. Oh, he had a chance at it. This half went away in the blink of an eye. You already know what's about to happen here. Tim Missile. Final play of the half. We knew they were going to try to throw it deep. That's just a stat pattern right there. First sack of the game for Tim Missile. And that'll take us to the locker rooms. Now that it is halftime, let's hear from today's NIL sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticketing app that lets you buy tickets for a variety of events, including sports games, concerts, and more. All you got to do is download the app. Look up the event you want to go to. And if you're a sports fan, there's a lot happening in the sports world this time of year. For me personally, I'm trying to go to a New York Jets game. And SeatGeek is awesome because they rank each seat's value. You can see this by the colors. If it's a green dot, it's a good deal. If it's red, not so much. That way I can find a great seat and know for sure I'm making a good choice. I don't have to go to the ticket line or anything like that. I do it just right here on my phone. A few clicks away, I've got myself some awesome seats. Even better, just by watching this video, you're getting yourself a deal. When you use code NTE, which gets you $20 off your tickets. Once again, use promo code NTE and you're going to get $20 off your ticket purchase. Thanks again to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Ooh, what a play. Ryan Hawkins getting the TFL. He's coming around. Can he shake off of it? And that's going to be a sack, but not for Tim Missile. That one's for Joe White. If that tight end didn't pick him up, he would have been screaming in there. Pitch that one. Oh, nice pancake there, Pat Jones. This is going to be Brandon Ford all the way. And that one's all on the blockers. Tremendous play. We are lethal when we get blocks like that. Brandon Ford can house it at any moment. Oh, look at that change of angle. Look at Tim Missile break down and cut on a dime to catch number 39. He is just so good. I think he legitimately could be like number one overall draft pick. He has that kind of ceiling. Oh, could this be another one? This one's for Jordan Vaughn. Another great block from the lads up front. 25 yards. First carry of the game for him too. Oh, look at that move from Tyreek. He's breaking the tackle, too. That You guys got to see that double move after this. That was sensational. I mean, making it easy for your freshman quarterback. Yeah, getting that kind of separation. The former quarterback can get it done. I don't want to hear it anymore. Tyreek Parrish to wide receiver is an epic move. Look at that separation. Left him in the dust. Oh, the crowd's into it. Florida's in trouble. Oh, couldn't get over there, but I knew he wanted to go to the corner. Hopefully they start throwing now so Tim Missile can just be unleashed. The pass rushing maestro. They are throwing it, and he's going to get sacked. This one is Doug Mayfield. Our defensive front is scary. I got a running back in, but will it be enough? It's going to be a screen pass. I got blocked. Can't get there in time. Still breaking tackles, but he's going to be well short of the first down. They're doing everything to get the ball away from Tim Missile, and I can't blame him. Oh, he's going to drop it in the end zone. That's going to be a safety. That was on me trying to run a big play on third and long. Got a little bit greedy, and I was backing up pretty far, too. Got to have better field awareness. Got a freshman in there. He's got a lot to learn. Give him a rest play. Beef Wellington chugging away. Oh, and he tackles his own guy. Thankfully, we made the tackle at the 20. Oh, he pitches it, but it's on the turf, and we're going to scoop it up. I do not know why he decided to pitch that. There was a swarm of Rocket City defenders all around him here. And we got there first. A little double move from Ryan. Oh, and he's getting hip-checked. Sending the freshman on a streak. That's not working. Get rid of it. He's going down again. Realized it was third and long. Couldn't throw it away. And we are having trouble in the passing game. Screen. And Tim Missile's doing that cutting thing again, but he misses the tackle. That's going to be a big-time gain for him. Oh, that quarterback got absolutely shredded. They get the first, but he took a beating. I, he's just so quick. It's unbelievable to see Tim Missile go to work. Oh, he's breaking away from Tim Missile. I would too. It looked like the play was originally intended to be going to the right, but he broke left anyway. So they turn the ball over on downs. It is our football. We got three minutes to get a ton of passing yards, but here I am running it just to try and keep the drive moving, and it didn't work. Oh, I see you now. Holy, what a throw. Oh, and you drop it after all of that. Greg Williams just released the cannon on us. I can see the raw talent, but we're just messing it up. Beef Wellington shoving him back to the quarterback. And he swallowed him up. You've got to be so swole to be able to do that. Get there. 
Another hit stick. I'm gonna call a timeout because I need these yards. I know it sounds greedy. The things we do for recruiting. Is this gonna be the one? Oh, what a throw. Nobody back there to help him out. Tim Missile, oh, he picked him up. And that's gonna be a touchdown, damn. They need this two point conversion and then they would have to score another touchdown and another two point conversion. And that one's out of bounds, so their hope's pretty much gone now. Yes, I am throwing the ball with this score line with this much time left. Bite me. I'm not even sure how many more yards we need, but we're sending it. Oh, there we go. Ryan Brown, is that going to be the one to do it? Over 350 offensive yards. We just need 11 passing yards, and then we got it. So a touchdown will do it here. And I like that Ryan Brown matchup over there. Oh, off of his back foot. That's not what you want. We're rolling out. Get open for me. Oh, you didn't catch the pass. Come on, lads. We can get 11 yards, can't we? Oh, you left him missile unblocked. He's gonna get their touchdown. We did it for the recruits. And now we're doing it for his Heisman campaign. The beef tank dragging him into the end zone. They will think we are corny for throwing this late in the game. But man, the recruits demanded it. I'll sell my soul for them. Excellent victory for the team. Accomplished all the goals we set out to do. Stats on the game. Greg Williams, 11 of 20, 229 passing yards, three touchdowns, zero picks. He did get sacked five times, which is less than ideal. But he's a young player. He's got a while to learn. And Brandon Ford can continues to roll 154 rushing yards two touchdowns ryan brown continues to lead us in receiving five catches 86 yards for a touchdown tyreek got one on an awesome double move out there and then tim missile got one in garbage time pat jones is working his ass off out there getting those pancakes love to see it brandon wilkerson 11 tackle game absolutely went off tim missile nine tackles three tfls and one sack let's go we got ourselves another recruit center marcus mays he's the number 10 center in the nation three star adding even even more depth to our offensive line. And Brandon Ford is now at the top of the Heisman watch. Nine touchdowns in four games. And we are now in the top 10 at number seven. Let's keep on rolling here against Georgia. Oh my gosh, we're going against a 99 overall quarterback. He has the most passing yards in college football at the moment. Oh wow, Brandon Ford officially over 90 overall. What a beast. Man, every time I come back here, it feels like I'm playing UGF again here at Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia. This is where my NCAA career started. And it's not going to end here. <laughs> Let's ride. I got to stop saying that. Oh, they're going to be running with the quarterback on the first play. And he has some speed on him. Oh, there he goes. How is this team not ranked? They look very talented. I just can't figure them out. They have a nice balanced offense so far. And what a dime. Guy hauled it in quickly. All right, I'm, I'm selling out on the run. Quarterback captain, and look at that broken tackle. I don't even know how he, like, look at this. Just came out of him like a spider monkey, and he's still broke it. Oh, but that's a cute good boy. We got Wayne back in at quarterback. Hopefully that should even things out a little bit more. He has way more experience. He's much calmer in the pocket. Oh, he got it. I can already tell. Georgia, they may not be ranked, but they are the real deal. We have to come to play. I'm going to take a chance. Oh, and Tyreek Parrish makes the catch on the sidelines. I feel so good about the decision of wide receiver again. He's just a playmaker. No matter where you put him on the field, he will help the team win. That's why we love Tyreek. Oh, get rid of that one. Block on the outside. Keep running, Brandon. Dragging him down, and we're short of the first down. Short yardage situation calls for something crazy. We're going with the beef. Beef Wellington, that it is. Put him in at fullback trying to get this first down. Run him over, and he's going to get it. The largest man college football has ever seen. Oh, we got Vaughn in. That's perfect for this kind of situation. His speed, he was able to catch up and get three yards. I see you, Jordan. That was a beautiful route. Jordan Vaughn toasted him. He's so quick. We got to get him more involved. What a luxury it is to be this blessed at the running back position. We have studs all over the place. Oh, man, I wanted to break down and get that interception. He's scrambling. Hey, he lost the football. Tim Missile is there to scoop it up. A fumble recovery for Tim Missile. And that's Ryan Hawkins who jarred the ball loose. That silenced the crowd real quick. Now our offense can go to work. And I completely forgot. I got big old Beef Wellington at fullback. He does not know how to block. <laughs> Let's go back to a normal formation. Oh, Ryan Brown. Spin move. He's still breaking tackles. The wide receiver. Maybe he should get more running back reps. 
Oh, get rid of that. Oh my gosh. Is that Greg Williams down? He wasn't even in the game. I think they made a mistake. Let me check the injury report. That makes more sense. Wayne bruised his sternum. He's going to be out for a quarter. Guy continues to get injured. Now our passing attack was pretty weak with this freshman last week, but he made a good throw here and there. I know he's capable of doing it, but now he's got to step in here on this third and long play. Somebody get open for him. He's airing it out, Tyreek. And that's going to be an arm punt. And that's going to be returnable for him. Thankfully, Tim Missile's on the field. Oh, he ran into a freight train. <laughs> that's not targeting either. That's just that broad shoulder of a large man. Tim Missile hit the quarterback, but it's not going to be enough. They got a man beating him deep. Pressure did not get there in time, so they're going to get a touchdown. This quarterback is good. He knows where his guys are at all times, and he is not phased by the pressure. Come on, Tyreek. Need more of you out here. Oh, what the? That's not the Tyreek I remember from last year. So Wayne's back out there. Needs somebody to make a damn throw. And that one's a little dangerous, but he makes the catch for the first. Got to just throw it up, and that's staying in the backfield. Fourth and 11, and Wayne is down again, trying to be a hero. That one looks serious. Bruised to start him again, re-injured it. He is out for the game. And that's going to be a sack for Tim Missile. That's a big time play we needed. We're trying to get some life back in this game, and that'll give us a little heartbeat. Oh, he can come back in. Wayne is trying to do everything he can to win this game. Oh, I'm coming for this quarterback. Got to get him again, and we flipped him forward. That looked painful. Wait, Beef Wellington's getting credit for it? Oh, I guess he touched him last. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, if you're getting rocked like that, why not give him both a sack? Oh, they're going to fake it. And he's going to get it. Thankfully, Eric Carlson made the tackle. Damn, I was not expecting that. They were up by seven points, being cheeky. They're trying to beat a top 10 team here at home. He kicks this one and he drills it 17 to seven. We've got some work to do to come back. The madman is still out there. Just throw it away next time. Don't take the tough hits. Oh, and he took the toughest hit of all here. Oh my God, they're trying to kill Wayne. We are going to run the football to make sure this man does not get carted off the field. Oh, and we finally get a good run. We've been struggling. Coming at the quarterback, and we're going to get him this time. No beef Wellington there to steal a sack. I believe that's his second one of the game. Come on. Oh, Traverius Ward. He went for the pick, and he failed. But he was able to make the tackle at the one. Watch out, watch out. Touchdown. Painful. Just a painful half so far. It's going to be our running backs that get us back into this. I can just feel it. Oh, and it's going to be Jordan Vaughn. Look at him go. Holy moly, what a move. Do we have two potential Heisman caliber running backs on the team? I think we do. That is a 90-yard rushing touchdown for Jordan Vaughn. He has every single point for the Moonmen today besides the extra points. That was a sensational run. Hitting that quarterback. Oh, and we had a chance at the interception. Oh, look at this juke. Eric Carlson. Wow, we have a chance at a Hail Mary here. That was epic. Everybody go. We know the play. Get to the end zone. Oh, he underthrew it. I thought you were supposed to have a cannon there, Greg. And Tyreek Parrish is hurt. Wow, not a great half for us, but we have some life thanks to Jordan Vaughn. We're getting creative here. Three running backs in the backfield. Oh, and this one's to Adam Coles, who has a wide open lane. Yep, we're going to be running the football a lot today. Adam Coles, two freshman running backs have taken over this game. 90-yard rush, and now an 81-yard rushing touchdown. So Tyreek has a hit pointer. He's out for the game. Wow, we've gotten back in this game, 24-21. Give me that one. There we go. He made a mistake. Oh, we might have a return here. Oh, their running back got me. School record for interception in the season. Montrell already has four on the year. Terrific stuff. Well, it's been working very well, the triple option game. We don't even need a quarterback if everyone's stinking it up. Oh, that one's on the ground. Maybe we do need a quarterback. The triple option giveth and the triple option taketh away. Oh, he is wide open. That's a blown coverage. Quarterback's got it. I missed him. I shed the block and completely whiffed. Great block. Oh, nice spin move. There you go. Already beating your total for the game in one run. I like it. Oh, I see you, Jordan. Oh, he is on fire. He's just a madman out there. Jordan Vaughn is an explosive play waiting to happen. Oh, Wayne, way to stay at home, and Vaughn's going to get another touchdown. The shovel option worked to perfection. Great job from Wayne there. 
Great tackle in open space. Brandon Wilkerson has definitely stepped up his game. Oh, yes. Drew it up perfectly for me. If you said that running back out, you are in trouble. I see him, Brandon Ford. Just a safety. Oh, damn. I thought we were going to have a big one. Shout out to Wayne for stepping up in the pocket, though. He's taking a ton of hits today. His sternum is holding on for dear life. This is a design scramble for Brandon Ford, and it's looking pretty. He's just going to take it all the way. That's a little bit cheeky. I've never done that before. And we are reclaiming the lead now. 35-31. The crowd is dead silent. Oh, he got him again. How many is that on this game? Is that number four? He's just taking over again. They are not adapting at all. You know, I want to try this again. That was so much fun last time. See Brandon Ford take off. Oh, and he made a miss again. There goes Brandon. In open space. I mean, we're just all rushing yards today. We're figuring out how to exploit the defense. And they are not adapting whatsoever. Screen pass. Brandon Ford's going to get himself. Oh, not a touchdown pass. It was up to the one-yard line. Thought about diving, but you have a chance of fumbling. This is rare for him, but QB sneak with Brandon Ford. And that works out too. Oh, he's getting spun around. Come on, ref. Where's the late hit? Ooh, that's going to hurt the back. Can he get him again? Is that number five? It is! Matching the school record here. Can he break it? Can he have a mind-boggling six-sack game? Give him six. Oh, he hit the quarterback again. He's the best player in college football, I think. He's just constantly taking over the game. He's running. Oh, man, I'm smart of him. He had Tim Mitchell coming from the outside. Another dime. So they're not out of it yet. Oh, and he gets blown up. That'll be fourth and one. Way to stay at home, Tim. They're going for it. One minute left in this game. Watch the back. And he's going to be... Sh oh, wait, he got it? Oh, that's a little sus. I don't know if he got it over the plane. Okay, maybe he did. Did he have control at the time? I guess it'll count. I don't know the ruling on that. And they're going to go for two to make it a, a field goal game. Quarterback's going to keep it, and we stopped him. Well, we just need a first down, and thankfully running has been what's been working for us today. Way to fall forward, and that's going to be a first down. That's ball game. Comeback victory. They are booing them off the field because we just took over, running the ball all over the place. And, of course, how can we forget about Tim Missile? Another five-sack game. He also got a fumble recovery and 14 tackles. Why is he not in the Heisman consideration? He's unbelievable. Stats on the game, the passing numbers are significantly lower because, well, we're a running football team now. Wayne Fontenot was 12 of 14, 134 yards, one touchdown. Jordan Vaughn actually led us in rushing yards today. He had some explosive plays, including a 90-yard long. Just a sensational player, man. He's one of the most fun to watch. Brandon Ford was good as well. Took him a while to get going, but he caught fire there at the end. 20 attempts, 125 yards, two touchdowns. And how about Adam Coles? Two runs, 81 yards, and one touchdown. It's no secret we have the most talented rushing attack in all of college football. And our running backs were also our leading receivers. Both Jordan Vaughn and Brandon Ford had four catches for 48 yards. Tyreek Parrish also made a great catch, jumping and grabbing it on the sideline lines. Tim Missile went off, dude. 14 tackles, 6 TFLs, 5 sacks. Montreal Gordon adding another interception on his total this season. He's up to 4. Got a head coaching upgrade. I'm going to add it to the locksmith because that's all we have left to upgrade in the recruiting tree. We also have a defensive coordinator upgrade. I think I'm going to add it to shutdown because we play a lot of man coverage. Oh my goodness, it's finally happening. Tim Missile, he's in the Heisman watch. I'm torn. Like, I've had a running back win a Heisman before. I've had a wide receiver win a Heisman before. But defense, never seen it happen. But he is just on a historic pace in terms of sacking people. So we're just going to keep sending him 17 on the year. He's already tidying his total career number. Oh, wait, that is the total. I'm an idiot. 15 on the year. I can't read. Oh, perfect. Next week, we're going to have that top five matchup. The rivalry game. Number one, Alabama versus number five rocket city and we get them at home for the first time ever should be the game of the year but anyways that's pretty much all i got for this video i want to say thank you guys so much for watching you're all legends in my book and as for me i am drew morris big old drewski not the expert and i'll see all you guys in my next video peace thank you to patreon supporters christian tag jack webb matt woodruff anthony you jeff coleman hagan webster jacob jordan timbo slice tyler cracker casey knox austin gazzetti rosalie jarecki demandre hunter martin seth washburn and latrell lee